This video is all about opening lines for your package. They are actually the most important part of your package because when done well, they give the viewer incentive to keep watching as well as set them up to actually understand the rest of your story. I know, it's weird to imply that other stories don't do that, but frankly, they don't. Sometimes I feel more confused after watching a news package than I did before watching it. And some of those packages are put together by major networks. Part of the problem sometimes is that the reporter throws the viewer into the middle of the story without ever telling them how it started, or at the very least, ever setting the scene. A good opening line takes care of that. And with that, the biggest piece of advice for opening lines is to start with what many professionals call a universal truth. It'll set the scene and will help the viewer understand what's going to happen in the story. While I'm going to give you some examples here, please know that if you go to YouTube and search for anything Boyd Hoopert and the Land of 10,000 Stories franchise out of Care 11 in Minneapolis, every story you see from him is an excellent example. He's known as the gold standard. Another great example is Steve Hartman, who has the On the Road franchise with CBS News. For the sake of this video, let's look at a few of my stories. And by the way, the stories I'll be referring to here are simple daily stories. These aren't award winners and certainly were never meant to be. They were just told as creatively as they could be for as simple as they were under a tight deadline. The first one is of a massive beehive in the city of Richardson that was home to 500,000 Africanized bees. Yes, half a million bees. The only way to bring down this massive beehive Ready? <laughs> is to go up and get it. It's incredibly dangerous because these aren't homey honeybees, but rather aggressive Africanized killer bees from Brazil. They can't be saved because they'll swarm you, then sting you. So they have to be exterminated. The real danger is if they do attack someone, they attack in large numbers, you know, like hundreds or thousands. And so it just becomes real dangerous. It can become deadly. That's Kyle Lieb, who's going to climb roughly three stories off the ground to kill them. Fire. All he'll use is pesticide, experience, and courage. Oh yeah, now they're getting angry. As they start to swarm him. <laughs> Yeah, I almost died. See, there's more dangerous things than just the bees attacking me. <laughs> if he were to fall like our camera, this is what he would see. He kept his footing and honeycomb by honeycomb took down the hive. This is what one of the bees looks like up close. The ones the pesticide didn't kill will be dead in roughly three days. They can't live without being told what to do from their queen who too is being removed. And because they belong to her, they can't join or build another hive, making homeowners out here very happy. In Richardson, Andrew Chnillian, NBC5. So as you heard, I used a simple statement. And I know, some who are going to watch this tutorial saw that video and thought, well, duh, of course you have to go up and get it. The reason I wrote that line is because I had the video to support it as well as good natural sound to break up that track and make you feel like you're on site with me. And if you didn't think it could get any simpler, watch this package with an opening line setting up a surprise. Let it fly, let it fly. Surprises are probably the best part of childhood. And there's about to be a big one here at Mary Hill School in Flower Mound. His five-year-old Haley is about to set eyes on someone she hasn't seen in nine months. Haley, come here! The rush to her father, Jared Tynes. Oh. I missed you. <laughs> For the last nine months, he's piloted the Army's Black Hawk helicopters in South Korea. Oh, thank you. I made it. You did you? What does it say? What she's waited so long to tell him. Thank you for all you do. Yeah. Any kisses? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're being shy. Who wouldn't be? After the sudden surprise that dad is home and knowing she'll have to say goodbye again in three weeks so we can do three final months in South Korea. 
But before that mandatory mission comes one very important personal one. Haley's parent teacher conference. Awesome. High five. Andrew Chnillian. Only and one start yellow day. Only one yellow day. Yep, and all the rest yellow. green. Mm -hmm. NBC5, Flower Mound. Again, I had the gnats to set it all up, started rolling, and stayed rolling before and long after the moment ended. The news crews on site were told what was going to happen, so we were prepared for the daughter to run because that's an obvious, predictable reaction. And it also gave me the opportunity to put a wireless lob on her father, which beautifully captures the embrace of the hug. This next piece is just an okay piece. It's about daily machinists on strike. And I use the opening line to set the scene and also take care of some housekeeping, meaning giving the viewer some numbers. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. All day, every day, you'll find some of the 3,600 machinist and aerospace workers standing their ground to keep their health care plans and make sure that new workers get pensions like they do. Once you give something up, you'll never get it back. So we just want to hold on to the benefits that we have. One of the workers out here is Scott Wilk. Ain't no way. Who is walking to keep a health care plan he says the company originally would have liked to have done away with. The new proposal saves the current plan with cap deductibles, though adds the option of going with a plan that doesn't. He can't afford that or be without insurance like he is now. Uh, I spent $1,000 on a prescription for my wife. I got to get it, you know, I don't have a choice. The second sticking point is pensions for future employees. It's the trade-off for health care. Future workers will not get the same benefits as the people walking this line but we'll get two 401ks that Lockheed will pay into, so it's more than when the strike began. Manuel Chavez Jr. appreciates the health care and wonders how his co-workers will vote. Well, I guess it all depends on the majority. Regardless if some disagree, the next steps they take, whether out here or inside, will come down to a vote. In Fort Worth, Andrew Tillian, NBC5. Here's a montage of more examples. There's a certain feeling getting a package in the mail. Oh, it's fantastic. These volunteers with the Airborne Angel Cadets of Texas want troops to know. I am so excited. This is just awesome. Crystal Wick. There. At FOB Salerno. Thinking about them. Does that look good? If you are what you eat, then your personality once eating here at Beth Marie's in Denton will be pretty creative. We go anywhere from a bee's knees, which is a lavender and honey to a Texas heat, which is chocolate chip with candied jalapenos in it. This is general manager Margaret Rich. <laughs> who's... Oh yes, most definitely. <laughs> as fresh as what she... That's no joke. <laughs> ...serves. If you live here, it can be easy to take Texas and all it has to offer for granted. Different. <laughs> Texas. Yeah. It's amazing. Now, the United States is very big. <laughs> I feel now. <laughs> Unless you're a Japanese cameraman, Miki Matsumoto, and it's your first time in the Lone Star State. The sunshine is so beautiful <laughs> in January. <laughs> He's a part of several groups of Japanese journalists, like his colleagues here working out of a minivan, to cover the Rangers' announcement about Japanese pitcher Yu Darvish. If compassion could be measured in volume, beautiful. the Buchanan family <laughs> is about to be overwhelmed. Let's see, well, we'll let me drop here. There's so much love. Bruce Buchanan can hear it, even partially deaf. I'd say probably. <laughs> this house was in need of a lot of work. Because it's been lived in for 30 years, and some of the damage breaks code. This is actually a project binder, so this is one of the four homes we have in process. Building is in Don Ferrier's blood. He's a third generation builder who's adding green friendly homes to his family's portfolio. We do it uh, in a very holistic way. Okay, sometimes that swallowing kind of helps it a little bit. One try that one. Just one of the quick fixes Wolford Elementary School nurse Kathy Johnson has for curing kids, and sometimes their mm, there's one right there. creativity. Ears and noses tend to get some odd things in them. Different for Johnson, who was an army nurse for six years. Okay, darling. I was stationed in Korea and I was at Walter Reed on the VIP suite. While you can write an opening line without video, it was easiest for me at least to write one once I've logged and then knew what video and natural sound I had to work with. 
I'll show you much better and more interesting stories in the next video where we're going to talk about closing lines. I'll see you there.